as power outages continue to plague San Antonio, things are changing today. Water is becoming as big of an issue, if not more, at this point. SAWS has now issued a boil water notice for its users. It seems as if the power and water systems that San Antonio has used for years and years and years are failing us. The announcement came during a special city council meeting. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger brings us the details. Garrett, what can you tell us about what SAWS is saying at this hour? Well, Steve, Saw's CEO Robert Puente calls this a precautionary measure as water pressure dips in the Saw's system. When that happens, TCEQ mandates a boil notice like this one. Now, Saw's officials say pumping stations are also getting intermittent power right now, like the rest of us. And there are a lot of broken pipes in people's homes that are leaking water. That water has to go somewhere, which also means lower water pressure in the pipes. As pipes thaw, it's going to get worse as the leaks do. It is safe to say that we're going to be dealing with this situ situation for days, not hours. As we do thaw out, the situation is like likely to get worse and more pipes on private property uh, will experience breakages and we will have a more difficult uh, problem with maintaining pressure. Now also on today's special city council meeting was CPS Energy CEO Paula Gold Williams, who didn't have good news either. Stressing that a lot depends on the weather and getting generating facilities back online, she's estimating that the power situation we're seeing will last into Saturday before there's much relief. Now Williams did say that they've changed the way they're doing the outages, invoking, uh, invoking the outages manually rather than with an automated system, which drew the ire of many residents who just got a few minutes of power at a time. The goal now is to give people about three to five hours with power or going back without. I'm in the newsroom. I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.